thanks for watching this video i am sijish and in this video i will show you how to add a host to existing cluster so i am using http3 and i will be adding one host by using ambari wizard so this is the host and uh, i am going to do the prerequisites so there are few prerequisites <coughs> which i need to do so the first part is the changing the host name so i'm changing the host name to master for dot hadoop dot com copy this one so host name ctl is the command that you can use for changing the host name so basically this is centos 7 machine etc that had release you can see it's centos 7.4 so which is the same as the version is same as the that in the other hadoop nodes and i'm changing the vm happiness so doing this one so i'll be adding this in the description okay and uh, said i so this is for disabling a linux to disable state okay so if you just open this one and uh, verify okay, the lines are get added to this one okay so vm happiness is and also it is a sc linux config and make sure like sc linux is disabled okay. so this is it and actually this script will do in an automated way the next make sure so you install ntp and enable that service and start so ntp is useful or it's very important if you are using uh, kerberos okay and then we have to disable so this php transparent huge page so copy this line and execute that also so if you check etc rc.local and you can see that lines are getting added so once you have done this so we can restart the system also one more thing we have to do is so we have to update this etc host with the, the new entries okay so we already have uh, two or three instances and that we will see so we can now restart the system so this is the ip address and the uh, host name is master for so we need to update this ip and the host information in etc host across all the host so go to the master one which is the one of the host and open here so i have got master 1 master 2 and master 3 and master 4 details also i'm going to add so get the private ip address and then host name and short name so this line you need to update on other host here master 2 open this file Then this one, then go to master 3, update this. So basically in the new host you need to add this entry. So if you have a DNS updated with this entry, so no need to edit etc host. So so only our requirement is every host should know the name of other host okay so now we already have master 1 master 2 master 3 host and master 4 is the no new host that we are going to add to our cluster and the next thing we are going to do here is so i'm going to update the m repository for ambari so go to etc m.repos.d and uh, i have to create the file ambari repo so which i can copy from other working host etc m.repos.d ambari.repo so this file i can copy and uh, paste here so open ambari.repo and uh, insert and then paste the content then save it so next I have to install 
okay you can let ambari server to do this uh, for you but here i am using a manual approach so i am installing ambari agent manually in this host so it's completed the next thing is edit ambari configuration file etc ambari and conf then ambari agent.ini so here under server section so this is the host or host name where your ambari server is running so in my case ambari server is running on this host okay so this is the host where my ambari server is running then use that you can use the host name or ip address then use system ctl enable ambari agent then we can start this ambari agent service then i can check the status whether it's running yes it's running so now ambari agent here is running and it know on which server my ambari server is running then we will go back to the console and get the public ip address for ambari get that then use this and use 8080 that is a port where ambari is running just use admin admin so which is the default credential so you can change that password or you can create new user also uh, so basically i'm going to add all the services are down now so no problem we can start those services later so next thing i'm going to do is so i'm going to add my new host to the cluster just click host i can see master 1 master 2 and master 3 are already exist so i'm going to add a new host click action then add host and use the host name that you are going to add so the host name is so master4.hadoop.com use that and you have got two option so this option so host registration you can let ambari server to do the agent installation and configuration but you have to provide the private key for that so i already did that installation by using m install ambari agent and configured ambari agent ini file and change that so i can do this manual registration option okay so confirm and continue click okay to confirm then wait some time so this registration process will confirm right so the registration is success yes all host check pass that means whatever the prerequisites we have done is proper and you can click here and see the status everything green okay then click next so here you have option to select what are the services you want to add here okay so by default i'm just selecting the client components alone and then click next and uh, configuration i have only one configuration profile available so i'm not yeah, i i have only the default profile so if you have the host with the different types of uh, settings or different types of hardware configuration so we can have the configuration group for each component but in my case all the servers are with almost same or similar configuration so i have only the default group available click next and continue okay then deploy so here so all the client components will be getting installed on this host you can see the status also on the host if you go to slash user http i think uh, it's here to create okay some error message so let's see ok 
okay so this is saying this command failed so let's try this command manually on this host So the installation is going well yes it's completed and you click ok okay so all the components has successfully installed then you can click next then uh, it's finished then click complete button so now you can see one new host will be added so which is the host we added that is master for so you can see the other host are showing us red no worry because the services are down on those hosts so i need to start so the components are here so these are the basic components which i have added so you can add additional components by clicking that add button so that's it about adding a new host to existing cluster so it's very easy thanks for watching this video to get more updates please do subscribe this channel I will be uploading lot more contents over time. Thank you. Bye.